I have been in human resources almost 20 years. I decided That's to go okay. into human resources because as I was um, completing my studies, I became a businesswoman and was running a travel agency, very successful travel agency for a number of years. Then came 9-11 and I ended up with a job at the university um, and I began servicing the university employees, had a real knack with benefits, with personnel issues, resolving things, and the executive director at the time said, what is your degree in? And I told her it was in business administration with an emphasis in human resources. And she said, would you like to get all the way into human resources? Because at the time, my title was executive secretary. I said, well, of course, I'd love that opportunity. And so I just kind of propelled right into that. I have worked in South San Francisco for a year and a half. What I like <laughs> most about working for the city is the breadth and scope of the individuals that I get to work with. Um, and so there are a number of departments within a city organization. It's not, a, it's not um, just like a special district that's only servicing one type or providing one type of service. Operationally, uh, with the city, you're providing services to an entire community and it, it encompasses a number of departments. So I get to learn about all kinds of operations. I get to meet all kinds of people from the street maintenance, park maintenance worker, all the way up to the police chief, all the way up to the city manager, um, department heads and everyone in between. I think what I like most about working for the city of South San Francisco is really the employees. Um, and just because I am in HR, I've got to say the labor groups as well. They are wonderful. Um, this city has a wonderful group of employees, um, wonderful group of labor groups. They're very collaborative. They care about the community that they serve. And for someone that's in human resources, I think that makes it easy for me. I'm off and running on some of my goals uh, as HR director for the city. Uh, one is succession development. I think it's critical in public sector that we begin to develop up and coming leaders and people that are prepared to take on some of these positions and roles. The second goal, which I think is quite important, is a new HR payroll system. Um, we It's a level of efficiency so departments can really work on what they are supposed to be working on. And then training. I think training is important and how do we work in training programs so that employees feel like they have an opportunity uh, to develop and to grow. I like the community um, in the city of South San Francisco. Um, I think the community members that I have met, they have been very warm, they've been very embracing, they're very active, and it's great to be a part and to work for a city where the community members, um, the people that live here, are actually care about the city. Um, and that's evident in how they come to the council meetings. Um, I think they're very friendly. Um, I think it's a gym in, in, in uh, South San Francisco. I didn't know about it until I got here. And then I was like, wow, South San Francisco, I could hang out here forever. There's a marina, there's a downtown, and I've got a little bit of the San Francisco on the end of that. The one thing people would find most um, interesting about me or something that they didn't know about me is that I have been a volleyball coach for 11 years. Um, and I'm quite competitive as a result of. <laughs>